Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In the next few minutes, I would like to uh, acquaint you with the process and current situation of uh, making seals accessible in the archives of the Czech Republic. First, uh, it is necessary to mention that seals in the Czech Republic are not only stored in archives, but also in museums or uh, collections of seals are owned by some castles and shuttles, or they are in private hands as well. However, most seals, because they are attached to the documents, are stored in uh, the archives. Uh, archival care is very well ensured within the functioning structure of archives, the so-called Czech archival network. Uh, in the Czech Republic, unlike other states, archives are not managed by the Ministry of Culture, but by the Ministry of the Interior. Uh, the archives administration department is in charge of man managing the archives. The central institution, central archival institution is the National Archives. Um, and we also have a network of seven regional archives and then 72 or, or so uh, state district archives, um, uh, which are uh, uh, departments of uh, regional archives. Well, the first uh, ideas for making seals available in the form of high quality study photographs appeared in the 1930s. Um, the important archivist and historian František Beneš came up with the revolutionary idea of uh, the Alice of Czech seals. It was supposed to be a kind of addition, bringing quality photos and a detailed seals description. The concept of the Alice was quite complex. František Beneš, he intended to classify the sphragistic material into several series according to the owner of the seal and by time, as the sa uh, at the same time. Uh, from a thematic point of view, his Alice should have been divided into eight parallel series as follows. The first series uh, should uh, focus on seals of Czech dukes and kings. The second series on seals of Czech duchies and queens. The third series on seals of Czech nobility. The fourth series on seals of Czech ecclesiastical dignitaries, bishops, archbishops and institutions and other church persons. The fifth series on seals of citizens, the sixth series on the seals of municipalities, the seventh, se the seventh series on seals of guilds, and finally the last eight series on seals of authorities, institutions, associations, companies, and their officials. However, uh, Dr. Banesh overestimated his capacities the period just before the beginning of the Second World War did not favor such ideas and their implementation. In addition, he misjudged his financial means when he decided to publish the work at his own expenses. So finally, in the years 1937 uh, to 1939, only a few brief volumes were published focusing mainly on the seals of, of nobility of some famous uh, noble families. After the Second World War, uh, making seals available was not on the agenda for a very long time. You may know that the uh, Czech Republic, current uh, Czech Republic uh, was a part of a so-called Soviet bloc. So we live behind uh, the Iron Curtain and uh, sciences uh, like heraldry or sigillography were counted as uh, so-called bourgeoistic sciences. So they were not supported at all by the regime. 
Uh, so once again, the idea of creating a general overview of seals stored in the archives, in the archives in Czech, Moravian and Silesian archives, containing their detailed and professionally correct description appeared at the very end of uh, the last millennium. The head of the archive administration department at the Ministry of the Interior, Vladimir Ružek, came up with the idea of creating an inventory of seals in archives in the Czech Republic. He prepared a detailed methodology and a form where archives were to enter their individual data, uh, it means seal descriptions. The form would be very well elaborated, containing information about the owner of the seal, chronological data, data on the document, the corroboration formula, information on the size and shape of the seal, the method of affixing, etc., etc. In cooperation with IT experts, they even prepared a specialized program for the seals inventory in Czech archives. In each archive, an employee was commissioned to first go through, describe and insert into the program information about each seal attached to the parchment docu documents. <clears throat> Thus began to create the largest and most systematic list of seals. A database was creating, which was also publicly available on the internet until 2014. Seal mapping, this way continues uh, to nowadays. However, it is moving very, very slowly because the Czech archives became administrative authorities a few years ago and archivists spend most of their time dealing with official agendas. The database of seals publicly available on the internet had a lot of positive pages, but also a lot of pitfalls. Its greatest, its greatest benefit was that the researchers gained a quick overview of the archive in which each seal is stored and about the current condition of the seal. The problem was that only a very few of records were provided with a photograph. Users therefore had to rely on the accuracy of the information provided by the archivist. These were often problematic. Archivists who had no deeper strategic knowledge often conducted the inventory. They also did not have enough time. They were given about eight minutes to describe one seal, which cannot be achieved in a sufficient quality. In 2014, the archive administration stopped paying for the operation of the web database. Therefore, the data are, not are no longer accessible to researchers at all. The archive administration said that they were looking for a way to make the database available again to users, but in fact, nothing is happening. It is a political decision, we can say. Making seals available is definitely not a priority for the administration. Only archivists bother their possible damage and the desire to study them again bothers researchers. So right now, Every archive or all archives are looking for their own individual ways to make seals available. Some archives have decided to issue paper editions of seals. For example, uh, for example uh, the archives in Eastern Bohemia, uh, where I live now, have published a catalog of seals stored there. Methodologically, it is based on the ongoing inventory. Unfortunately, it contains only a few photographs and those photographs are not of very good quality, as you can see in your screen. Uh, the archive of the city Brno decided to prepare its own edition and to make all the seals attached to the documents up to 1526 available in five volumes, five printed volumes. The classic edition should include highly quality photographs of each seal so far, two volumes have, have been prepared by the work, uh, but the work does not continue due to conflicts between one of authors and the archive. Others, especially the provincial archives, choose to open their own digital study rooms, widely accessible, where CEO scans are also available. Some allow 
uh, the study of seals in very high resolution as provincial archive in Opava or state regional archive in Trebon or Moravian provincial archive for the region of South Moravia. You can see how it looks like. Uh, these digital research rooms are usually also available in English, so it can be available even for you. The disadvantage at the first at, at, uh, is that they first make available, of course, the most attractive documents and seals from selected collections, but ordinary documents are still available only in personal presence in the archive. Full access will take years to come. The disadvantage is also that the archives do not coordinate their activities with each other, so the situation varies from region to region. The National Archive uh, archives make a large part of its documents stored in the first department of the archive, which manages documents created before 1848, accessible through the Digital Archive Monasterium. The National Archives is the founding member of uh, International Center for Archi Archival Research Association, which develops the Monasterium portal. So the Monasterium is generally a great platform for accessing documents, but it is not entirely suitable for seals. Nevertheless, the National Archives and the administration of Monasterium uh, have, good, uh, have agreed to create a special section for seals where the National Archives want to place high quality scans of seals from Czech Crown Archive Fund, which is otherwise completely inaccessible to researchers. The scan are ready now, technical issues are waiting to be resolved on the part of Monasterium team. Uh, the National Archive and some uh, regional and district archives in cooperation with universities are looking for a conceptual permanent solution for making seals accessible using modern technologies. The issue is 3D scanning with the possibility of subse subsequent 3D printing. My university, University of Hradec Králové, also cooperates on this. We are trying different procedures and different machines, but we are not very successful yet. Our working group consists of archivists from the first department of National Archives, colleagues from the Department of Care for the physical condition of archival material, sequelographers, IT experts. First, we try to define our own starting point of view, we need our needs, because we naturally place different emphasis. So far, we have encountered difficulties in obtaining 3D models of very small and damaged seals. At the same time, damaged seals should be at the forefront of our interest. Uh, there is also a question of further processing of scans, uh, the reconstruction of original form of seal on the basis of preserved, albeit damaged specimens examples. Uh, alternative reconstruction of seals based on the application of parallels. Uh, just to conclude, we need a simple, fast, reliable solution that provides good quality scans archives themselves do not have the financial means to acquire expensive equipment for personal uh, uh, or the personal capacities to address the issue in more depth. They are very interested in being available to reduce physical presentation of documents and seals to researchers and then and thus reduce the risk of their damage. But we are only at the beginning of this. And as I have already mentioned, the seals issues doesn't belong to the priorities. So we will see. That's all by me. Thank you very much for your attention. 